Built-in LOD support for 3D has been missing from Godot for years, but we just got some information from Juan himself about a new LOD system he's working on for an upcoming update to Godot. If you don't know what LOD is, it stands for Level of Detail, and it's a way to improve 3D performance by automatically replacing 3D models with simpler, lower resolution versions of themselves the further away you get from them. This is a way to improve performance because it means the game isn't wasting resources rendering fine details on models when you're too far away to see them. For years, the only way to do this in Godot was to kind of hack it together and manually create lower resolution versions of every model in your game. But now, Juan is working on a system that automatically does it for you so that you don't have to. On his Twitter account, he's been showing off some examples of this new system in action, and maybe it's because of Twitter's horrible video compression, but I couldn't tell that the model was changing as it got further away. So it's looking really promising. He also gives us a close-up look at how the models change based on distance, and I'm no expert at this stuff, but it looks like it's mainly trying to preserve the overall silhouette of the model, and you can see that certain parts of it are deflating or disappearing, but you can see that the overall shape has been preserved. In this example, each of the models you see in the photo are made up of over 300,000 triangles, which from a quick Google search seems to be a bit on the high side, causing the game to run at 42 frames per second. But with LOD, Juan has managed to bring that number all the way up to 403 frames per second, which is almost a 10 times improvement in frame rate. Clearly, this thing has a lot of potential, especially if you're dealing with very high resolution models in your game. It could quite literally be a game changer. So far, there's been no word on when or even if this feature will ever make it onto an official Godot release, but seeing how well it already seems to be working, I get the feeling we'll be seeing this new feature coming to Godot sometime before 4.0 releases. If I'm wrong, then oh well, not a big deal, but either way, I'm excited about this change. And then hopefully once it's done, Juan can finally start working on adding occlusion calling to Godot because God knows we've been asking for that for a long time now. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, links to my discord and twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.